one asks how the labor market and participation varies by state in the FSM. Well, the FSM Department of Statistics has labor market and participation data for the FSM and some indication of FSM-wide, but if I want state-level differences, I have to go to the labor market statistics detailed. This is uh, the second tab of that, a tab that shows which sectors doing how, uh, how many, employing how many people. FSM state koshai. Now I went ahead and I made a Google Sheet copy of it, but you can see right away I've had some problems. There are errors in in the uh, in the Google Sheet. So first thing I have to do, and this is pretty common when you're doing data analysis, is I'm going to have to clean up those errors. So I'm going to select all this data, and it looks like I might be missing something out there. The way this is run. So let me try that again. This is always a little tricky. There are some hidden columns, and that's uh, probably having an effect too. But I'll see if I can copy these columns intact. I'm going to do a copy, and then I'm going to come over here. I know I'm ignoring the hidden columns, but I'll go ahead and hope they're not too badly off. And I'm going to go to Edit, Paste Special, Values Only. And that's going to give me back these missing pieces. Now. I wanted to look state by state, and I want the most recent data. That would make sense. So I'm actually going to build myself a table over in a new blank tab. I pressed a plus. Take a new blank tab so that I can grab the sectors. I'm going to grab off these sectors. I don't know that they'll all be the same, so I'll have to take a quick look. They may not all, no, they're not all going to be the same. So that's going to take some special work to do that. So I'm going to have to pull that list over to here and then come back. And this is pretty common. This is basically, uh, this, I don't know if there's a formal name for it, but data massaging or data, data arranging or data tweaking. I could probably use those numbers to make my life easier, but... That's okay. Uh, it's going to take some work to put this together, but that's pretty pretty typical for when you're working with data. You're usually working in some spreadsheet environment, and so I better put up here what this is. This was Chook. Can I get that up there? I've left a blank row for my headers. Koshry. And I'll get these fixed in a moment. So far, they're lining up, but they might not, so that's why I want to be careful. I'll bring down Pompey's these here. Bumpy's got, for example, that foreign embassies piece, so that might be different. Yeah, see, that's a different piece. So that's why I want to make sure I've got everything arranged properly. And I'll bring Pompey's numbers down. Okay, and they go over here. Uh huh. And we'll bring down YAP. YAP is... Because I'm going to be looking at differences in the labor market by institution. Uh, uh, these are these labor market by institution data. Uh, I do this. Right. Make sure I did this right. 566. I know that's kosher. But, oh, okay. I'm in the right place. I gotta come. I'll check. I have to cross check my numbers. Uh, I gotta get down to yeah. Always a little. Pay attention to what you're doing there. No, I didn't get that right. Really? Household zero? No employment by household. That's strange. All right. Uh, then, just so I've got some numbers to see where I'm at, I'm gonna go ahead and run the sums. E equals, just I want to, I can check whether these numbers are going to come out the same. I better add in those, that last blank row because that's got the uh, 41, 74, 13, 31, 8,000? No, it doesn't look right. Control Z, uh, it's got to come down here. Yeah, I probably got something missing in there. 7999, so I have a difference of one. These here, 
uh oops sorry seven nine 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 gotta come back here seven nine 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 So this adds up to 8,000, So, but this number, ah, so someone typed this number in manually for Pompeii, and it's off by one. Why it's off by one, I, I, I have no idea, but it is. Uh, this one, 26, 2468, 2467, it's up by one. So that's interesting, 2467, 8,000. 1331 so I'm checking my numbers making sure I've got the those numbers match and that fits and then Chuk's numbers I want to make sure people can the numbers work that one there's going to 4174 that's true let's go back here and check and see what we had uh, 4174 4174 all right so I, I'm just making sure I've got the right data and that, that's important I've got the right data by sector I'm checking now the rows, make sure that the same item is in every row, every row. That means this one should be copied over because it's it's a zero, but to make it all work out, yes, there's no foreign embassies employment in the other states. That'll be important later. Uh, better put up here that this is YAP, so I keep track of the states. Now I can go ahead and delete these columns out should be safe to delete them out now that I've in theory everything is lined up horizontally I wouldn't want to make a chart just of this whole thing that would be a mess I mean you could but you know you have something that doesn't tell anybody anything if I do a chart of all of that I get just some some ah, it doesn't tell you anything it's a mess I've got to digest this data into something that makes a a chart to tell somebody something about the differences between the states and that means doing some it's not really statistics it's starting to play with it you know Chuk has a larger population than Koshrai so we can't just compare these numbers to each other so one thing we often do is relative frequencies which is easy enough to do I'll put these over here I'm gonna go ahead and drop these across here and stick them in over here I'm going to go ahead and put in the relative frequencies. By that I mean I'm going to take Chuk's 1844 in the private sector as a percentage of the popul the uh, total employed employment in Chuk State. I'm going to lock only the 12. Uh, okay, yeah, let's try it. <laughs> but uh, did that really work? <laughs> That's new. <laughs> Yes, it worked. Uh, sorry. Yeah, 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 I know. I'm going to try filling across and see if the whole thing works. Well, they've all added up to one, it does look like. Let me check. Equals the sum. This should be the sum, not the uh, not the uh, formula. I'd add it to one. That's supposed to. The relative frequencies all add to one. So now I can see that 44% of Chuk is employed in the private sector, 42% of Kotri, 46% of Pompey, 46% of Yaps. Uh, and I can see national government employment by state uh, and state government employment by state. Uh, and so that's some, that's some things I can look at. Now, uh, basically we've got... Uh, Private sector, public enterprise, and financial are public enterprises. Probably things like telecom, telecommunications, power, KUA, PUC, Chuk uh, Power, uh, you know, I'm Utility Corporation. Probably something like that. Um, and financial institutions are banks. So, and private sector are your stores. Whereas state government, national government, and municipalities and government agencies are all part of the government. And you can see really large state employment. That's going to be teachers. That's going to be teachers. What you're seeing there are teachers, undoubtedly. Education, plus everybody else who works for the state. 
uh, the hospitals, the teachers, the health care, public health, a lot of that's going to be buried inside these state numbers. So the states are the dominant employer. These are the municipalities. So what I've got here, my point is, this is kind of all non-governmental employment. This is non-governmental employment over here. And these are all governmental. National, state, municipal, and other government agencies are essentially government positions. And these are a, a bit harder to characterize, but NGOs and households, um, we, uh, I, they're essentially categorized probably best as other for now. Now I've got something I can maybe start to talk about. I've got the states, let me do that. I've got something I can turn into a, a chart that maybe is a bit easier on that. I can talk about um, private, governmental, and this other sector, uh, private non-governmental or non-governmental. And now I can say equals the sum. So I can start to look at, I want to look at percentages. You'll see that will let me not, uh, yeah, okay, jeez. So that's new. I'm not used to this. Autofill, but uh, wait, I need to fix this. This is going to be equal to the sum of uh, these guys here. I, these formulas won't be right. And this is going to be equal to the sum of just these two here. So, oops, that, that, there's two there. So now I've got some values. This simplifies it. I've got a lot less than playing within my chart. And so now I might be able to, it'd still be a pretty complicated chart, but let's see what I can get to. Now I can see them by state and that. I'll take a look at whether I want to do them that way or do I want them this way. Yeah, I want them this way. I want to see the states. This is a better arrangement than this. This arrangement, it's hard to tell what's going on. In this arrangement, I can see that the private sector uh, overall in Pompeii well dominates the governmental and other sectors whereas in Koshrai the governmental sector here is dominant this is the government uh, I did blue so let's maybe make that match <laughs> there we go and the gov the cover sorry the governmental it should have been wait wait for it this is the one that should be blue, that's government, darker. And the private sector, it should be green. And the other should be that, I'm trying to match colors to my table that I did up there. That's closer. So now I have a chart that has some meaning. It tells me that a state like Koshrai has a has a larger employment force tied to governmental positions. Chuk, it's almost a even a wash. Pompey, the private sector in various forms, dominates governmental employment. And in Yap, the private sector uh, down, is, is slightly dominant over the government sector. So this gets me all four of those on there. Now, I did include uh, these this title piece here. Without that, without including this piece here in F16, 17, and 18, the chart wouldn't make as much sense. Um, but there are times where something happens that it doesn't work out quite right. One of the ways it might not work that well is if you tried this and then switched it around. Uh, I guess it worked well. Huh. Well, I, it, I, it, it got smart. <laughs> it pulled F anyway. It, it grabbed F, even though you'll notice I didn't select F. Google, being smart, realized that F must be the labels, the headers. If I take it out, that's what I thought I'd get. But uh, Google outsmarted me and uh, included it. So this is a, a data exploration. In this case, I was looking at the different, I wanted to look at employment by sector and what impact that might, differential impact that might have. 
2023, the step down is likely to more heavily hit governmental positions. So Koshai um, may have a bigger issue with a step down in government funding. Pompe has a larger non-governmental sector, so its economy may be slightly buffered, if you will, uh, against a step down that, that might come with the end of compact funding. So again, you don't want to just graph everything, just grab just, there's a real tendency, I think, to graph everything and hope for the best. And a chart like that, well, it doesn't have any, that doesn't have any useful meaning. It, it, people look at it and go, what am I supposed to draw from this? What am I supposed to understand? What am I supposed to get? That's really hard um, to, for an audience to look at. And to, but by playing with the numbers, must, you know, uh, recalculating I had to go to percentages because otherwise if you just use these the raw numbers um, you could you know watch let's try that you'll see there's a reason why I did this operation here on the left let me go ahead and show the why I take this and I copy that and I drop it in here that should give me those numbers I could make a chart of this and then I could again switch to rows and columns. But now it, it, the same information is there. But, and maybe it's also an important chart now that I see it. Um, but Pompey now dominates the chart because of the raw numbers, and, and Koshira is much smaller. This chart uh, puts everybody essentially on the same percentage scale. So I can see how the states relate to each other basically as a percentage of total employment in that state and so it, it'll look slightly different now I'll go ahead and color this chart because uh, there is some there's some meaning in this chart uh, this is the private sector I put that in green in the other chart this is here and governmental and we we dumped that into a blue color and this is the uh, other where we've categorized a bunch of it sort of dumped in the other so there's the other um, and I guess what surprised me was this chart isn't as bad as I thought it would be it does say something else very important though the the bulk of the employment obviously in the nation uh, if these numbers are is that, is that really true yeah apparently uh, this large private sector employment in Pompeii at 3,000 dwarfs the other three states uh, essentially combined and so uh, a bit to my surprise that is actually another useful chart you could use because it shows that most of the employment is happening here in Pompeii both the dominant government which we'd expect because the national government is located on Pompeii so of course government will be larger on Pompeii, it's also got a very large school system, um, uh, but Chuuk's total employment numbers are down there around 4,000, and Pompeii's total employment numbers are significantly higher, uh, up at uh, about 7,863, 8,000, 8,000, oh, we forgot to put in the embassies into other, see, I just found an error in my formula. This one forgot to include the embassies. Oh, I'll put that in D11. And this one should be in there too. I think that one's already counted, but let's make sure. Other. Yeah, that should go to I. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, that was a mistake. But you find these mistakes. It'll make a small difference in Pompey's numbers, but not a lot. A little bit of difference in Pompey's other numbers. But it goes into Pompey's other. Yeah, let's see if that adds up now. That's 8,000. So. Good to check that. That's an error caught. Probably should have used that in all these, but the only, only uh, Pompeii has those foreign embassies, which provide a little bit more employment. So employment much larger here on Pompeii than in the other states, combined 8,000 total uh, pe people working. But only 4,000 in Chu, 1,000 in Koshaya, a couple thousand in Yap. So when you make a chart, don't just graph everything. 
it won't have any useful meaning that anybody can take away from it. You've got to turn the data into something digestible. Now you notice here I wasn't calculating medians, means, standard deviations. I got to a chart that tells me something about the differences in employment uh, by state without having to go through and do any, uh, any really advanced statistics. Uh, but they did use the sum, and that's a that's a useful is a, is a useful statistic. And if I was going to report a statistic for this particular data set, this would be a statistic to to potentially report that the bulk of it is here in the FSM. In fact, it makes me think of one other chart that you could use. It would be um, potentially useful. I can grab all of these guys here copy and put them down here and then I'll put right here one chart that would be kind of useful is that what I was just talking about where is the uh, employment at right, this, this would make a nice pie chart because we're talking about everybody together uh, one whole pie and how's that pie let's see that won't tell us as much as uh, we'll put back up here there we go Let's get these around to the right colors. Yap traditionally, uh, at least around here we do yap and red, Pompeii and blue, Koshai, the, the green hills of Koshai, and, and Chuk is a typically, uh, typically white. That doesn't look right. So. Let's see if I can find a way to make that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it can't be white. White doesn't work. Um, we'll have to run with a grayish color or something. Black, black I guess. Um, of course, white is the traditional color we use for it, but I can't. Um, it disappears and looks funny, so. I don't see a way to put a border on it. Pipe chart. Yeah, I don't see a way to add a border to it. Mm -mm. Let's see. Get the border color. That's what I need. Black. All right. Now I can have true white. I did find it. Took me a bit of time to find it, but there it is. I can set a uh, border, the border to have a border color. I can't set a border width, but I can set a border color. So that's a good. That's good. Now I've got a chart that that has some meaning, and we can see that this chart's interesting because it tells us that half the employment in the FSM is in Pompeii. Again, it's a chart that. Uh, tells us something about the uh, um, about the, uh, nat the the nature of the uh, employment picture here in the FSM. Oh, oh, put it back. Yeah, I was trying to get a get into the. Uh, uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Put that away. So that that tells me something about the employment picture here in the FSM and how things uh, work with respect to that. So when we're exploring data, there's no right answers to what chart was going to be the best chart to produce. I had no idea what charts would tell me what I need to know. And uh, in this case, I've, I've uh, found a couple other charts that gave me some interesting information. Now I can start moving data like this over to, the, uh, to a presentation to present to an audience. And I can tell them where the jobs are, private versus public sector, uh, by state. I can tell them how, how the percentages differ between the states overall picture and and that half the employment is in Pompeii uh, 
Only about uh, a quarter of the employment in the nation is in troop, even though they have about half the population. About half the population of the nation is, is in troop. They have only a quarter of the jobs. And that, I think, can tell you a lot about the economic challenges that troop state government faces. Uh, that means a smaller tax base to work with, but more people that need to benefit from that smaller tax base. So the charge can be informative. Well, that's kind of, um, again, another just open exploratory look at differences in numbers and data. Mm, is Pompeii significant? Is this 8,000 significantly different? I don't know a way to run a test on a sum. That would be very difficult to do. Um, I just don't know a way to do that. So I'm not sure how you would show that it's significantly different from the point of view of a sum. But uh, there isn't any way to run a standard error that has any meaning. So you, you couldn't really do any statistical tests in this one. But the charts by state would matter.